Uh, hello, welcome to the studio. You've just caught me eating a boiled egg. And it is raining cats and dogs out in the studio, out, outside the studio today. So, without further ado, let's go into a quick introduction, show you what's going on and what, what the weather's like today, and we'll get on to this canvas. So as you can see it's a foul day out there today, the rain is absolutely pouring down and that's really bad for me because I can't go out and earn a living cleaning windows but it's good news for you because I'm actually in the studio painting away the stress of everyday life here in Wales 24 by 20 inch canvas a little drawing of an eagle this is a painting I done a while ago there you go there he is there's, there's, it's what I call my spirit animal that's my spirit eagle now I'm going to be doing a couple of spirit paintings over the next couple of months a wolf and all this other stuff but I thought I'd start with an eagle today okay so let's without further ado let's let's crack straight on to this this wonderful painting I'm going to be concentrating mainly on the background it's had two coats of gesso and I've put some raw sienna on there as a ground just to get rid of that white and it gives me a little bit of background as well it does so I'm using a bristle brush my one of my bristle brushes which is I used um, which is available on the um, website www.clayfinder.co.uk along with the medium mixes I'm using as you know never just use water as a medium to thinny paints it's not a good idea let's get some raw sienna putting that in like that now I'm going to be working on a, on the background because you can see there's very little detail that we need to worry about as far as the bird is concerned um, now you might have a little bit of glare coming off this canvas um, and this painting is available to purchase if you want to purchase it or just try your own a little bit of bird number there you go it's on available on the shop my paintings tend to sell very quickly so if you're interested pop along and place your order as soon as you can. Okay, so we just put in some boot number in there, like that. A little bit of anti brown. Very loose, not worrying too much. Um, more raw sienna. Get some more sienna down here. Like this just mix it in, throw it on, blend it in. This is a quite a loose style painting. The only detail we're going to have is is maybe the eye and the beak. The rest of it is very, 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 very simple. You can do this. I know you can. Never let anybody say you can't do something. So get a nice bit of. Texture going down here. Leave a bit of that ground showing through your paint. There we go. Um, what I could do, what I could do, I suppose, what I could do, just get a. I don't have a blending brush. No, I don't have a blending brush. I took it out. I took it out to the studio the other day, and I forgot. I forgot. I took it out. I'll use this one. This is a mop brush. It'll do. I just want to not worry too much about it, but I, I just want to smooth it down like that. Get some more raw sienna. Touch of white. Just throw that on like this. Blend it in. Using the brush on an angle. The original painting, which was this one, there we go. that's the original painting, took me um, a good few hours, and in fact, but this is not going to take that long, because I painted it once, I know, I know the effect that I want. So I'll be nice and black down there, 
nice and black down there, let's get some white over here. Let's get a little bit of, whoops, I got a little fine mist bottle. Use a fine mist bottle, there we go, this is available on the website as well, www.playbyvad.co.uk. It's, it's, it's an atomizer bottle, so let's put a little bit of moisture on our canvas, just to allow the, the paint to move about. Rosiana. Let's get some burnt ember. Let's make it quite dark in there. This is your spirit animal, so you know. Think of it like a spirit animal. Um, Van Dyke Brown. Some black. All I'm, all I'm, all I'm interested in now is getting this background in place. This is this is integral, integral, in, integral. This is very important <laughs> to the painting. Clive, you shouldn't use bristle brushes in acrylic paint. You shouldn't use man-made fibers, man-made monofilament, man-made monofilament bristles. Why are you using? real hair brushes, real, you know, bristle brushes. You're not supposed to do that. Who said you're not supposed to do that? Who said you can't use bristle brushes with acrylic paint? You can use any brush you want with acrylic paint. As long as you've got the maintenance, as long as you look after this, you're gonna get a little bit of yellow ochre. As long as you've got the maintenance and you look after your bristle, bristle brushes and you, you treat them with respect, because they are, yeah, your tools, you haven't got a brush, you, you can't paint. Unless you use your fingers, and there's some artists out there that use their fingers, that's fine. But, you know, the majority of us don't do that, do we? No, we don't. We use a brush. And that's the thing. We use a brush. I'm going to add a little bit of blue to my palette in a minute, because I forgot to do that too. <laughs> okay, let's get some black down here. All you got to do is wash your brushes really well. Use... Um, Use a, a cool water, not don't use hot water, don't use warm water with bristles because they'll expand. Don't leave your bristle brushes in water because the bristles will expand and cause damage. That's not what you want. So when you wash your brushes, wash your brushes immediately, especially the bristles, immediately after use. Don't leave them sitting in the, in, in, in the water. I've made a video on this. If you want to check that video out, play, click the i cards there. I'll tell you a little bit more in depth about why and what for and where and when. <laughs> there you go. Just put a few lines in like this. Get some brown. Get some brown in. Once you've washed your brushes, um, use a little bit of conditioning soap or a little bit of um, Windex uh, with, um, make, make sure it hasn't got vinegar in it um, or some star drops or something similar. Um, just give it a little rinse out in that or you can use the, um, I got, I got a, a, a cleaner here, um, it's an orange zest cleaner and it's um, universal, you can use it for watercolours, you can use it for oils, you can use it for acrylics, it's just, it's like a turpentine, it's not turpentine but it's, um, it's one of those um, spirit, you know, you know what I mean, let's just put a little bit of brown in there right now, so it all makes sense, it all makes sense. Are we happy? We are happy. So once you've done that, you, you you use your Windex or whatever, and then you rinse it out in a little bit of water. Get some soap, conditioning soap. 
and just brush it in a little bit of soap and get away. And uh, look after your bristle brushes. Very, very important to you. You give your bristle brushes love. More so than your morning filament. You sit, you're you arguing in the pot sometimes. He loves you more than me. <laughs> but I'm a bristle brush. I'm not a morning filament brush. I've got to have the love of care and attention. <laughs> right. Okay. Now, um, let's get a toothbrush. Okay. And let's get some liquid on there. A little bit of black. Now, if you don't want to get your hands dirty, you can use a little palette knife. A little palette knife here. And what you want to do is get your palette knife and pull it through. Just get some, flick some paint on there like that. A little bit more of this on after. Let's go, let's go into a black. Just saves your hands getting dirty, really. Again. Don't forget, we're just working on the background. Don't forget, we're just working on the background. There you go. I'm going to let my toothbrush soak in the water because that's not going to hurt. Just take my palette knife off. Um, what I want to do now is get a. Um, uh, what do we need? Let's get this bristle brush. This is a small one. As I said, I sell these on the website. Again, I'm going to get a palette knife. Uh, in fact, I tell you what, we'll get a we'll get a long handled brush. And I hope I don't splatter myself because I got an air of a mess last time I did this. I'm just flick a few. Blobs of paint over. Like that. There you are. <laughs> Let's get a little blending brush very quickly and just clean that surface up. You don't want too much annoyance in there. Right, the next stage um, to do, really, is I'm going to get a hairdryer. Now, that, as I've said to you, I use a hairdryer in the studio because of filming. It makes life a lot easier, but I suggest you just let it dry naturally. But if you want to use a hairdryer, you can. There's no rules. There is no rules in art, especially in Wales. <laughs> There's no rules in art, as I said, but there are precautions you have to manage. You have to take, use, um, you know... You, you're supposed to follow certain procedures. Well, not, you don't have to follow any procedures if you don't want to. I'm just going to decide what brush I'm going to use here now. Um, but yeah, if, if, if it's going to make your life easier and you find an easy way of doing it, do it. Do it. It's, you know, it's. If I was painting this as a commission, would I use a hairdryer? Possibly not. I would most probably go and have a cup of tea at this stage. And just let it dry off because it'll dry in 20 minutes. Whether, um, whether I'm here or not, but I haven't got 20 minutes to wait. Um, so I'm gonna get a bit closer. I hope I'm not gonna get in shot. I'll try not to get in shot. I got my cork on the stick because I don't wanna go and buy a mall stick because they're like 15, 20 pounds. And um, I bought a bottle of Prosecco, which I drank, which was really nice. And I got a stick and that didn't cost me anything. So save some money. Don't go wasting your money. By whatever you whatever you can make and save your money on, then do it because it's you know, gonna help you buy more paint. Buying more paint is more important. Yeah, let's just get his eye in place. So really speaking, all you need is an eagle's head. Now I'm not gonna do a tracing for that because it is stupid. Um, what you need to do is find an eagle's head and just do what I'm doing here and you can copy that out and you're going to have a, a, a fantastic painting like this where's he, where's he gone? I've lost his uh, lost his thing, I've got his his nose is going to be over there his mouth is going to be around this area let's just put that in there very quickly that's going to be down like that 
it's going to come across there. There we go. We got him. Play with that in a minute. <laughs> okay. Raw sienna. Bit of raw sienna. Nice girl, sienna. Okay, so let's put a little bit of that in there. Like that. Raw sienna is transparent. My easel's um my easel's falling backwards, I think. I didn't move my easel forward a touch, there you go. That's better. Uh, okay, are we, are we all right? We are okay. Okay, now, what I hadn't done is I didn't put some blue on my palette. So let's get some Prussian blue. Bit of Prussian blue, it is. I've got a, a little angled, little angled short flat there. It's, it's a short flat, but it's had, it's had its edge knocked off it. Just cut an angle, basically. There you go. You see? You see? Cut an angle. Cut an angle. When we paint snow, you always put blue down, don't we? Or a brown colour. But depending on, on what we want this shadows to look like. I want blue shadows in this particular painting. There we are. Drastic, doesn't it? When we're doing things like this, believe it or not, exactly the same way as they painted that one. There we are. So, am I going to get it as perfect as that? I doubt it very much, not in the time scale that I've got, but I'm going to try. Give me 10 out of 10 for trying anyway. You notice I'm not, I'm not painting like this, I'm, I'm making deliberate paint marks. And if you followed with me week on a weekly basis, you know that every lesson I do normally works its way up to a, a painting where we can use all those skills. So I've talked about backgrounds and I've talked about blending and I've talked about loose brush strokes when I'm doing I guess I'm in a guess like a Van Gogh's type of style of painting so I use all these use all these um, skills that you've learned over the last few weeks to help you with this particular painting and you'll find that you will get there Okay, so I'm gonna put that down. Um, I need a bit of um, burnt and Van Dyke brown and, and black. I want to I bring in this area like this. Okay, what I want to do now is bring in a bit of colour. I think I need to put a bit of black there, I think. Um, let's get a brush. Get some of this black. Let's 
Ще мога си една. Та не. Ще пък един един. Това е драй, това е драй, това е драй, това е драй, това е драй. Right, we need to get some raw sienna, some yellow ochre, and some raw sienna together. And let's paint in the beak. Raw sienna and yellow, uh, raw sienna and yellow ochre, I meant, sorry. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Getting a bit of colour, getting a bit of colour in there, getting a bit of colour back in there. Check a little bit of red. It's orange in a touch. A bit of red in there. Red's good colour. Red draws your eye. Remember. Never forget that. Yellow. I'm just going to get up some yellow. I'm just going to use the colour that's on the brush to mix that into with the yellow. Because I want to... Can you hear that rain? I hope you can hear that rain. It's it's pouring down out there. A little bit of white to that. He is. He's looking a bit more eagle-like now. I think he is, anyway. So, I'm going to take my attention back to the um, eye. I'm going to get some um, white back over into this raw sienna. I just want to lighten his eye up a bit now. I want to lighten his eye up a bit. Some raw sienna. Mm, mix that together. Let's just get a bit of different colour in there. A bit more white. And a bit of white, a bit lighter, just around the eye there. Like is coming down today in buckets. What I want to do is get a bit of blue. Bit of blue, bit of blue, bit of blue for our black. Get the colour I'm looking for. It's a nice blue grey. Come on. It knows it wants to. You've just got to encourage it a little bit sometimes. There you are. See, that wasn't hard, was it? There you go. I'm talking to the paint, by the way, not to you. <laughs> okay, so just getting a little bit of blue. Just into this eye area, a bit down there. Get some more shadow in. Yeah, it's just a bit of blue there.
Rinse your rinse your rinse. Back into this white and I'm just standing up. I don't wanna I, I, I'm gonna affect my lights if I stand up. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna dry that with a hairdryer because I can't see because of the glare. I should be standing up and then I should be able to see what I'm doing. But I'm gonna dry that off because I want to sit down and do it. Oh, I'm gonna have five. I'm shattered. I'm absolutely shattered. I've been painting all day today. I'm so pleased you decided to join me in the studio. Because it makes my day to know that somebody, somebody comes along and to see what I'm doing. And um, if it's the first time you popped into the studio, then don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notifications just to let me know so I can let you know when, when I'm in the studio, which is normally on a Monday. And you don't want to miss out. That's the thing, you don't you don't really want to miss out here. Or where, where else would you get value like value for money like this? Where else would you get value for money? You can actually have free lessons, knowing how to use acrylics. Painting away the stress, if that's all you're doing. A lot of my a lot of my subscribers just a lot of my visitors I should say. Um, just want to paint for, for painting's sake, for fun. They're not looking to be masters. They they just want to learn acrylics. And you can do what I can do then. You should be able to. You should be able to be able to just enjoy your painting, come into the studio, paint when you want to paint then. Don't let anybody tell you you can't. Let's paint for fun. Yeah, how does he look in? He's looking more like an eagle at the moment. I'm not, I'm doing more to him at the moment. I want to let him dry off. I'm going to let him dry off. What am I going to do now? Well, I'm going to grab a brush and I'm just going to get a light wash of colour. Maybe I'll just put my media mix over there. I'm going to get some raw sienna. Now I can do this with my media mix because it's not water. If you, if you thin down the acrylic paint like this with water, it's just going to peel off or flake or chip. Or it's, not, it's not going to do your painting any good, trust me. But if you're using a medium mix, you're okay. Because what you can do then is this. You can, there's a big hair there. Where did you come from? I just wanna go over that. I want a bit lighter than that actually. I want a bit lighter than that. Knocking our back into the distance. Uh, all the way over here. Just killing that colour. Some white and some more sienna. Just to make it look like it's further back than what it is. Just bringing that in. Maybe a bit up there as well. In fact, I think um, I'm just going to get a bit of this burnt number. I want to darken that area a bit. Put a bit of this over the head. Yeah. In my mop brush. Oh, 
Oh, he moved down the background. Isn't that fun? Dirty in his head off a bit like that. There we had it. Let's get a little bit of black. Let's put some shadows down here, like this. Try not to be too regimental with this. What I mean is try not to be try not to be too precise in painting something like this. You want to be loose, you want to keep it loose. As loose as you can anyway. I'll do it like that, see? There you go. No. I've got a mass of brushes soaking in my pot, which I, I don't recommend you do. Don't let any brushes soak, you need to clean them up. But for the purpose of this, I'm just going to let that dry naturally now, and I'm going to clean my brushes. Um, I'm going to finish my cup of tea, and then I'm going to come back. That's going to take me about 10 minutes, but I'll be back as quick as this. And I'm back. Right, now I've got a, a fan brush. Um, this is a fan brush, it's a bristle fan brush. Again, bristle, bristle, bristle. I'm going to mix some um, Prussian blue, some black, some white, and a very pale grey blue type of colour. It's okay, a bit more white maybe, a bit more blue. Don't want to lose the blue. Loading my brush. Now I'm going to think of what we got here. We got your feathers. This is not going to be exactly the same, so don't 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 think it is. It's, it's, uh, we, so we got some feathers coming in there. This is my spirit animal at the end of the day. So you you, you might decide you want to do it slightly different. Put some feathers in. When you're painting something like this, you've got to paint with feeling. You've got to paint with energy. Um, and if you don't believe in energy and stuff like that, then just just paint with a little bit of whatever you're feeling at the time. You know, you, you don't. There's no plan to where you want to put these particular um, feathers or nothing like that, but. If you feel as if you want, I want to put some, I want to put some that colour but there, but do it. If that's the case, then that's when the painting starts to talk to you and the energy that you're going to put into this is your energy. Just don't forget, when we when we paint, a part of us uh, uh, is being attached to the to the canvas and that's a very important thing to, to remember that no matter what we're painting, whether it's this landscape, whether it's some apples, or, or whatever, there's, there's always a part of you that's going to be left alone, or left into that canvas. There's always going to be a part of you left there. So please don't ever forget that. Every every painting is is energy at the end of the day. This is not about painting an eagle with his wings opened. Or, or anything like that. This is more about painting what you feel as, as, as what this painting is doing for you as far as energy is concerned. As I said, it's, it's, it's basically a spirit animal. You can make him as happy or as sad as you want him to be, basically. Just playing with some 
a Mars black now and then. Just as I'm talking, I'm thinking um, about relaxation, about letting paint stress flow through me. The stress is going through my brush into the canvas and and it's just evaporating in into into space. That's where the stress goes. You allow the stress to to flow through you because that way that way it helps with your with your mental state as well. So if you're feeling a bit stressed, just do a little bit of painting, do a little bit of drawing, do whatever, you know, but let let the energy flow through your, your brush or your pencil or whatever that is. You're going to be using a char piece of charcoal. You, I was doing um, some charcoal sketches the other night because I wanted to change. And if you've got painters block, then there's a video in the icons there to, to tell you a few ideas of how to get get around that. If, you, if you're if you're losing your creativity in things, then you need to check that video out because I find it hard sometimes to to create videos and things on a regular basis, which I do. I, 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 I paint, um, I put lessons out every every week and trust me, it's it gets really, really challenging on times to, to produce these um, lessons. The wings, the feathers are representing the the, the flow of energy and stress um, that we that we allow ourselves to, to let go sometimes. And when we sleep, we're not stressed. It's a, a fight or flight thing that you can go through when you your anxiety. And I and I I've dealt a lot with um, anxiety. I've suffered a tremendous amount. Um, of anxiety um, in the last several years and painting has, has helped me to to recover that so as you can see it's just a matter of just throwing your brush across the floor <laughs> it's a matter of just letting yourself loose You know, you don't have to paint every individual feather. You just got to find some. Feather shapes. He could have his wing open or something. I don't know. You make it up. Some brown. I want to get some brown in there. Let's get some. Um, let's get some yellow ochre. Mix it in with that. There you go. Some mixtures of colours. It's really nice. A bit more black in there. Now. not so much about the feathers it's not so much about the feathers it's about the bird itself that's where the energy is coming from a bit of blue one let's pick up a bit you can see this is already looking so different to the, the original one I did. That's the original one I done. Um, and this is already looking so different because I'm in a different state of mind. It's, it's, it's a different energy flowing through me today. If I paint this again tomorrow, 
it, it could look totally different again. But very similar because this is my, me. This is my spirit animal. One of them. So I'll just leave that dry. Um, I'm going to revisit the head now of um, my, my, my eagle. I'm just going to bring my easel forward and touch. There you go. I was banging and knocking about sometimes. Um, it's havoc with that. So I'm going to go into a smaller brush. This is a smaller brush. It's so tiny, number two actually, look, so tiny. Get some raw oh, sienna. Van Dyke Brown. If I've got Van Dyke Brown, just mix a bit of black with some burnt ember. I hope you've heard me say that before. Get a bit of black now. some more sienna. Then wash my brush so I'm contaminating my raw sienna and white now but it doesn't matter. I'm happy with that. white on my brush here. He's looking a bit mere. He's looking a bit. He's looking a bit fierce. I don't know. Must be my mood I'm in today. I'm just going to stand up. I'm most probably messing around with my lights now, but I need to, I need to, I need, really need to get onto this. Right, I'm going to put a bit more colour on that in a minute. I'm going to get them. Um, Right, let's get some white. Contaminate a lot of my palette space, a bit of blue. Let's work on this now. What I'm doing is just pushing the brush down up and leaving the brush shape. You see that? You see what I did then? I meant to say that, but then sometimes you lose I lose track of what I'm doing. What I should be saying. Before I do anything more to that, I'm gonna get some yellow, white, and let's just start working on this beak.
some yellow ochre. Get a bit of white up in there. He's looking, he's looking okay at the moment. Let's just put a bit of white along there. More yellow ochre. He looks quite fierce, this one. <laughs> he looks really fierce. <laughs> I must be a grump. I must be grumpy today. I must be grumpy today. I must be. because I haven't got the time to I'm trying to paint something that normally takes me about three hours <laughs> painted in about an hour but as long as we get there it doesn't really matter does it? as long as we get there it doesn't really matter Get a touch of red. And don't waste your paints. Try and scrape up some paints and put them back in a pot and stuff like that. That's what I normally do. Try not to waste your paints. They're too expensive to throw away. Just put a bit of red there. Catches the eye a bit. Yeah, he looks quite fierce. This one is looking more placid. Oops. This one looks a bit more... Yeah, he looks a bit happier. <laughs> Must be me. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You get the jest, and that's all that counts, really. I'm happy anyway, no matter what. We, if we could paint the same every time we painted, then we wouldn't want to paint again. And that's the thing. It's always a challenge. Every time you, every time you come to the easel, it's always a challenge. So it should be, otherwise we would just stop, wouldn't we? We would stop doing something that we really truly love. And that's not, that's not fair. Why should you stop doing something you really, really love doing? See, I think if I put a bit of, a bit of a line there, maybe we can get him to smile a little bit. <laughs> He looks as if he needs it. There we go. Come back to that in a second. Look, still looks a bit wet there, but that's okay. It's an angled short flat. There you go, angled short flat. Let's get some. Let's get some white. Let's just put some feathers in. difficult trying to be loose but still carry some detail so I have a little bit more time to play around with this but I haven't
Yeah, it needs to be uh, it needs to be a bit darker in there, I think. I'm just looking at him now and deciding what I can correct. I don't want to correct too much because I could end up spoiling him, and I don't want to spoil him. But I'm just going to lift that up a touch. There, like that. Which I'll brush very quickly. Getting in some black. Just trying to correct this a little bit. Looks a bit better. Not a lot, but it's okay. We can live with it. Maybe if I just put a few. Here are feathers. That looks better. That looks better. Whoops, I need to slip. I need to get off my chair. <laughs> oh, that scared me, that did. Oh, oh my heart went bing dee bing dee bong bong. <laughs> It really did. Oh dear me. Put a bit of colour in there like that. Looks better. Looks really mean though. <laughs> it looks really mean. Oh. Let's get some more sienna. Yeah, it must be my must be my energy today. It must be that's what's making him look a little bit like that. Okay. So, um, I don't want to do too much to this so I'm just going to have a little look. Maybe, maybe get a brush and just Okay, now, toothbrush, paint the white, where's my palette knife, there it is, because I don't want to get this all over me, now, again, I'm going to It's not good. Oh yeah, 
Okay. Actually gives me an idea now. I'm gonna get this tissue paper. Just makes it for um, a different type of painting, really, doesn't it? Um, where's my fan brush? Picking up some of this black. Yeah, I'm rushing it a bit now, but it doesn't matter. There's some black down there. dry brush and we'll call it done there we are if you like comment share and subscribe don't forget to click the subscription the button down there I upload upper seven London time every Monday and over there is a button for patreon if you want to click onto that give this a try that is a eagle Spirit animal, that's my spirit animal there. Um, actual fact, I could do a little bit more work into it there, but I'm quite happy with the way that is. That's the original, and that is the copy. As you can see, totally different but very similar. Thank you very much for joining me in the studio, and I'll see you next time. Bye.